So we're just going to take a quick look here at how we can reproduce the cyanotype effect. And as you'll see, I've um, got my start image open in Photoshop Elements. You'll also find this start image on this month's cover CD. OK, so because this is a, uh, a toning technique, obviously we need to uh, begin by converting the image to black and white. However, when I say um, we need to convert it to black and white, I don't mean um, convert it to grayscale, because we need still need all the RGB colour information available to us throughout the process. So for this, I'm going to use the uh, convert to black and white command, which is uh, very handy indeed, and, and much better than simply desaturating the image. We've got this nice little preview here, which uh, helps things along a bit. Now, we can actually uh, choose a black and white effect from the presets down here and go through those, see if there's one that uh, that suits the subject particularly well. Um, I'm just looking at, I think, portraits is a, a, a nice start. Um, now, you can actually see a preview of the uh, the image in your actual image on screen. Because of the screen resolution I'm working at at the moment, my dialog box is a little big to see that, so we'll simply rely on the preview pane. OK, so once you've chosen the preset, you're always free to make further adjustments to the uh, to the sliders here. All we're doing here is um, adjusting the visible proportions of each of the uh, red, green and blue channels. And little like the, uh, the channel mixer in the older versions of, of Photoshop. And we can mix the channels to to our liking. We've also got a, a contrast control here that we can uh, tweak here and there. But basically you want a fairly a fairly low contrast black and white image with the uh, nice punchy blacks there. So um, however long you want to spend making these adjustments, that's up to you. But I think somewhere around there will do us just fine. And we'll simply click OK to apply that effect. So now we've got the uh, the black and white image nicely set up. We need to uh, take a look at how we can tone this image with the uh, characteristic blue tone of cyanotype images. We're going to do that by using an adjustment layer. And you'll see why I'm doing it via an adjustment layer in a minute, rather than uh, a straightforward menu command. So we'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and I want to choose Hue Saturation from the menu there. I don't want to rename this layer, so we'll simply click OK to apply the layer itself. Now we're presented with the Hue Saturation dialog. First thing I want to do is make sure that Preview is checked so I can see the result on, the, on my image on screen. And I also want to check the Colorize box. Now you'll see as soon as I've done that that uh, the image becomes tinted with a, a nice kind of yellow colour, and that colour is reflected in this uh, in this colour bar at the bottom of the dialog. So we want a nice um, blue tint to this image. So I'm going to grab my hue slider, and I'm going to drag it somewhere around between 190 and, and 200. The exact shade of blue. Um, is really a matter of personal preference, but I think somewhere somewhere around there is ideal. We can tweak with this thing for forever. Um, the intensity of the blue tone is controlled via the saturation slider. I want this quite intense, but not uh, not overpowering. The uh, cyanotype images were were actually quite an intense blue because of the chemical process that they went through to create them. And we can also um, lighten or darken the image globally with the lightness slider. And I think I'm just going to reduce that a little just to, uh, just to make it look a little older um, and a little worn here and there. So once you're happy with that tone, we'll click OK to apply the layer. 
Now you remember I said I was deliberately using a, uh, a hue saturation layer on this and the reason for that is if we get to a stage later on in the process where we're not happy with the particular colour of the tone or we want to uh, intensify the saturation with this being an adjustment layer we can easily do that simply by double clicking the icon for the uh, adjustment layer in the layers palette and then we can continue to uh, choose another shade of blue or increase the saturation. Once you've made that, those changes, if any changes, we can simply click OK to reapply the adjustment layer. So I'll leave you to uh, get to that stage with your image for a few minutes and then we'll come back and uh, tweak the image just a little more.